Hey Jim, I'm making this video for you. I know you love coffee and you like gadgets. I might have uh, mentioned to you about the AeroPress. It's a coffee maker. It's a, you know, it's a French press, but it's made for backpacking and car camping. And I'm at 9,000 feet here in the Eastern Sierra. I'm doing some macro photography, this cool branch. Nice colors. So anyway, I was gonna demonstrate the AeroPress for you. You may have used one before, so this might be, looks like I gotta go to wide angle here. This might be, uh, you, might have, you might already know how to do this. So I already got my water boiling on a, this is a, a jet boil, really cool. Boils water in about 60 seconds. Not too good in the wind though. The old ones were, but this, the new ones are not. So here we go. So this is a scoop for the AeroPress. This is the AeroPress lid. These are the filters. And they fit in here for backpacking, so you can bring like 30 of them. So this, we have, this comes out. That's a little cup it comes with. And there goes all my filters, but we'll collect them. So here's the press itself. Very heavy, everything's very heavy duty. You can't break it if you tried. I like stuff like that. So let's back this up a little bit so the camera can see it better. I'm working on the hood of my car, as you can see. Yeah, I got Michael Oldfield going in the background. Anyway, so we start off with a paper filter. These are about half a penny each. Gotta get them wet. So I'm gonna dip it in boiling water. You don't need boiling water, but uh... That's all I got. <laughs> and we put it in the, the filter holder. Osmosis will get the rest of the filter wet. So this, this is the cylinder for the piston. So now we got a filter. And we use our little scoop here. <laughs> Obviously, you don't need a scoop. I wouldn't bring one back with me. I just dump it in. So, you know, I like two scoops. You can do up to three and make really strong espresso. But, uh, this is a, an uncontrolled environment for making a video. You got wind. Lighting is sketchy. It's either too bright. Let's see what let's see what Michael's doing here as my filters are flying away. So this is ready now. So this has coffee in it with the filter in the container or the, the filter holder. So we put that there. Pour water in here. Some of it will flow through, like a normal uh, filter, like a cone coffee maker would do. But uh, well, one thing I don't, here we go. You need to stir it. It actually <laughs> comes with a stirring stick. And they provide that for you to lose. I'm pretty sure that's what the purpose is. So here we go, stir that up. I'm gonna add a little more water in there to let the... I hope this is all on camera. Because I'm not gonna redo it. And then we press it. It takes quite a bit of pressure. but it makes a very clean espresso. There's no silt, mud, whatever in there. It's not cloudy, it's very clear, but very potent. And it has all the good coffee flavors without uh, bitterness. Why does sound like an advertisement? Okay, that's done. And so now we have espresso. Oh, by the way, this is my electric match you recharge it you don't refuel it it's awesome 
So here we go. Dutch Brothers Cup. Let's see. There it is. You can see it's nice and clear. And then obviously you can make yourself a latte or a Americano, which I hate. I always make lattes with cocoa. Then to take it apart, to clean it, take this off. Preferably not on the hood of your car. So then this just gets pushed out and it forms like a puck. Let's see if I can do it. There it is. I am fertilizing the uh, pine forests here at 9,000 feet. So this is that. shadow out of the way very good for backpacking it all just folds into this nice little put this back on I usually put filters in here for the road and then this goes here and then the lid goes on and that's all you need coffee besides coffee and hot water my jet boils just keeps water boiling all the time uh, for very minimal use of uh, fuel. That's it. So that is a greetings to you from the Eastern Sierra. Uh, this is Hope Valley. Colors are just magnificent. I have been hiking all over here. That's Red Mountain. And uh, yeah, it's about 10,000 up there at that peak. So this is just a four-wheel drive road. It keeps out 95% of people. This is, a, I found this spot 10 years ago. And you can see, these people have been camping here probably before white men. I mean, this is just incredibly, it's a good windbreak. This is looking east. So the wind in, a, in stormy conditions is gonna come from this direction. So this would be great protection from a storm and still providing good views. Lots of deer. They're always grazing in this field right here. They don't even run away. I wouldn't be surprised if there's one up there now looking at me. It is hunting season, but they're still here. All right, over and out. I'm also making uh, BLTs. So I've got another stove busy here, frying bacon. I chop it up really good. And then uh, make BLTs. And they are delicious. Well, me and Michael Oldfield will say goodbye. And tubular bit. How's that for timing? <laughs>